Good morning everybody. I think I woke up 10 minutes ago uh, and I'm still in my pajamas and my mom asked me to go to our garden and harvest a head of cabbage because we are uh, preparing a roll for breakfast and usually we add cabbage to the roll so yeah I need to find one and the weather is actually pretty cloudy uh, and um, I still like I don't think that we're going to have any rain but it's a cloudy morning um, the fog started appearing it is getting foggy because it is getting closer to autumn when the fog first appears that always tells that we are very close and that summer is coming to an end which is so sad i was saving this small one for such a day so i'm going to pick and harvest this tiny head that's going to be enough of course for several rows but i didn't want to harvest a big one so i'm going to take this one and we still have this cabbage of red variety and you know the surprising fact about that is um it's not attacked by any insects no one actually cares about this variety i don't know maybe because of the leaves but all the cabbage that we have is attacked by insects on a regular basis i don't know what this year is about or maybe because it's it is a hot one but insects they can't stop of course i was frightened with them but you know, a couple of days pass and they return back. They do not care about anything. Uh, but I still like, feel we're going to have a bit of a harvest, but that is the worst year possible for the cabbage. Oh, look at this beauty, the cauliflower. Only one survived. I wanted like, you know, to, to have it for a bit of variety and only one cauliflower survived. And that's actually a good one. I like that. Apart from that, there is something I'm trying this year, so when I harvest, when I harvest cabbage, a head of cabbage, I don't remove the stem and it's going to grow other heads, but of course they're going to be smaller, but it's still harvest, right? So I left two uh, tiny heads, they're going to be formed, but I do it with all the cabbage. Um, of course, with the cabbage of late crop, I think I won't be able to do this, but with the cabbage of early crop, that is still possible to grow some heads on the stem and not remove the stem. Before that, I would always remove the stem. The same here. So that's the leaf. From, yeah, there are lots of them, but you definitely have to leave only a couple of them that can be at least bigger in size and not like lots of tiny ones maybe three or two i think that that would be okay have i ever showed my marigolds to you i think i haven't look at them how vibrant they are this year and it is so nice like you know to walk here and to enjoy their colors and that is the variety i was talking about in spring so that is the variety that changes the color depending on the day on the temperature so when i just planted them they are like mostly they were of this color um in a way like pinkish yellowish um closer to white but right now when we're getting closer to autumn they started turning red and pay attention to the fact that there in the shade almost all of them are red here but when they are in contact with the sun they are mostly yellowish in a way pink and etc and i loved this idea so much and they are not hybrids or anything and it's pretty lovely and I have there some mar marigolds too, but I just loved this, 
this idea of planting them like this and walking and enjoying these bright colours. I'm going to harvest some tomatoes because they, uh, at this time of the year, uh, they are getting ripe pretty quickly. Uh, first of all, I thought that I'm not going to have that many tomatoes this year because um, I have already pointed out that I planted them too close to each other and the lack of light definitely had um, its say. Uh, but uh, right now in August, I realized that that's going to be okay. I mean, like the harvest is going to be great. So right now I see that some of the tomatoes start cracking. So uh, I'm going to harvest the ones that are ripe. Just have a look at that and it's pretty heavy. Actually, I love the tomatoes that, that grow like that, but quite often for the beauty you have to pay with the taste. The taste is okay for the pickling, but not for eating in the salads, but just look how ginormous those bunches are. And this size is definitely really ideal for pickling. Uh, I love uh, exactly these varieties of tomatoes of this size. I don't like cherry tomatoes or really big ones when they're pickled. That is the same but yellow. The variety of these tomatoes are pretty unusual. First of all, for their shape, and it seems like a, you know, like a very small bottle. But the taste is very specific because these varieties they are dry. They don't have any juice in them, and I picked these tomatoes because they are ideal for drying and for adding like to oil and garlic. Uh, something that I showed in one of my videos about uh, what I do with my harvest. One of the things that I do, and for this purpose I decided to plant these tomatoes, are actually drying them. And when, these, when the tomatoes are dry, this whole process is a lot quicker. So it dries quickly. And they're so nice, like, you know, to pick up because they fit in the palm. And yeah, these are like, you know, tiny bottles for me. Lately, uh, I really fell in love with yellow uh, and orange tomatoes. For me, like their taste is a bit different. So I started planting them a lot more. Uh, even though, obviously, like I love every tomato, but sometimes you have some preferences uh, every single year. And I always like started planting more. Uh, yellow varieties.
Look what we've got with raspberry of late crop. It's insanity for sure. Previously, I had only the raspberry of early crop that is already gone. And now it looks neat and nice because they're definitely getting heavy and the top part is like going closer to the ground. Here, if you don't cover everything from the birds, the harvest is going to disappear in a couple of days. That is the raspberry of early crop that we usually get um, in June, July. So these are the shoots that are going to provide us with harvest next year. And my task is I need to remove the dried ones. I'm going to do that.